Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the bedroom on the day that I'm watching all the things and I'm returning to The Legend of Vox Machina. This is season three, episode eight, and I have some... Okay, Percy may be dead, but it is The Legend of Vox Machina. It is Dungeons and Dragons. It is spells and sorceries. Sorceries. <laughs> we had um, Vex die last season but was saved by vax i mean so he could be mostly dead but slightly alive something else i found fascinating was last week as i'm watching shows there was two shows and if you haven't watched it already you should be agatha all along trying not to spoil too much but there's these two shows funny enough both episode seven but where a character has died unexpectedly. One destroyed me. The other one made me confused. And that's what I found fascinating because in Agatha, when that character died, you kind of saw it foretold and there was almost a piece about it that was so poetic and yet so devastating sob for days like every time I heard it every time I watched another reaction video about it editing it I cry every time Percy who I adore as a character I was more confused by his death because I'm going why is this why now and then again you add that element of maybe they could come back now on the other show Agatha could that character come back yes this one a little bit more likely but yeah, it was, I was more confused than devastated. Otherwise, if I had any, if this was a season finale-ish or last couple of episodes in the season and we had had that, I would have probably been more upset and crying and, and still confused, but upset crying. Which is all to say, I have no idea what's going to happen next. But this episode's called the, what is this one? The Battle of Siege of Iman, which is where Thordak is, Yes. Or is that the town that they all were in originally? It's been so long, I don't remember. Something's happening, there's fighting going down, and what are we going to do with or without Percy? If you bring Percy back, is it still Percy, or is it zombie Percy? I'm excited to find out, and I'm so glad that you're all here with me as well. So we're going to get under the big cozy blanket, because out here in the Pacific Northwest, it's raining right now, and even though it's not raining inside, there's a nip. A little nipply outside i also have my water to stay hydrated i have all of you who are also going to remember that if you want to you can watch the whole episode with me on patreon i would love to see you there link down in the description below along with my instagram mailbox all that fun stuff i'm ready y'all because i want to see oh, we need percy back <laughs> so let's get to it Oh, are we back in the past? Because we've got a bear. Bear jaw, bear jaw. Oh yeah, and Scanlan's there. Which one of these prisoners is the mom? This is where we. I told you, cult leader. Big payoff if we bust him is out. Is this where we where we meet Percy for the first time? Psst, you there? Happen to be some sort of cultist? I beg your pardon. Yeah, this is when we first meet Percy. If you're looking for the raving mystic, you missed him by two days. Seems confinement didn't agree with his constitution. Oh. You don't seem like you belong in a place like this. Funny. You do. <laughs> We're a bit short on funds, and you talk like you come from money. Ransom? If we break you out, how much would it be worth? A small fortune, I dare say. Ransom. A reward. If I weren't flat broke at the moment. Leave him in there. No. <laughs> A detail you might have withheld until you were free. In fact, I'm totally alone in the world. Perhaps you can relate. You're shit at negotiating, you know that, right? But you are brutally honest. You might need that sort of honesty someday. Hmm. Very well. Let's see where the truth takes us. What's your name, anyways? Percival, such and such, the ruler of the third. I know you all know all the names. I just know that there's a lot of them. Mm -hmm. 
there's just an ever so slight. I hear it toxic from Britney Spears in my head. <laughs> As the song starts going. The people of Whitestone are no strangers to loss. Not recently. And yet the sorrow of this tragedy. <laughs> the town's still smoking. As our cherished brother, friend, and noble son has been stolen from us anew. Oh my gosh, they're burying him. Oh, and he looks so good. <laughs> That's a handsome corpse. <laughs> and though not religious, he believed in white stone with... That was his religion, was white stone. When we kneeled broken, Percy stood tall, reminding us that hope is a flame worth fostering. So we're just gonna put him in a mausoleum, right? We're not sticking him in the ground. What happened? There's a reason I've been pressing you about this. Oh, this regret. This regret. She's gonna live with her. I couldn't say it. I wasn't strong enough. I closed off my heart when I should have opened it. God, I am a bad luck charm. Why would you say such a thing? Because that's what my delusion said when we were being gassed. What was unsaid will remain so. How can I live with that? How can anyone? <laughs> and this is what drives Vax to Keyless door. Okay. Is Vex okay? No. Are you? I'm sorry for running away from us. The future has frightened me for so long, but it's a future which hasn't yet been written. And I'm starting to think fate is what you make it. Yes. It's okay to be scared. It's not set in stone. I don't want to be alone tonight, do you? I haven't wanted to be alone most nights. <gasps> With Percy's glasses, oh no. He's gonna sing him a song. Oh, he wrote a song for Keely. Now? Now, the matron's gonna come now. There's still a way, you know. The hell do you want? To offer condolences and plan our next move against Thordak. Oh, you've got some fucking nerve. Uh, I don't know, nerves, cojones, for sure. Unless you want Taldore to perish as your friend did. Taldore, that was the name. We of need it. time. We're grieving. You don't have time, though, when hell's raining down. I hadn't planned on burdening you with this, but it's time you knew the truth. Oh, there's about more. Your family. <gasps> oh. And Thordak. What? Vex, where are you going? I'm useless to you all right now. Distracted. The pain you're in. It's not the first time you and I have felt it. Tales of destruction Thordak tells. Boasting of the cities he's burned. Mother. Thordak is your destiny. According to Raishan, Thordak's nest will hatch soon. We didn't listen to her last time, and it got Percy killed. But taking him on for the most dangerous dragon in the world. Yeah, destroy those eggs. Unless you have some army hidden away, what would be different? What if we did have an army? You know one? Everywhere we've been, we made friends. Yeah, and enemies. Ooh. This is bigger than Whitestone. Even Taldore. Um... Maybe I could convince the Ashari to help. But you're talking about a handful of scattered fighters. I doubt it would be enough. And you need to get them there now. How about a thousand Singorn soldiers? Ooh. We're doing this now, episode eight. Episode eight. Not ten, eleven. Eight. 
<laughs> well, these guys. Why do I always have to be the these big These guys. Because, my darling Cash, you are just so damned attractive. And how much will the take pay you for him? 100 gold? 50? You have money, Vax? What if you upgrade it to something a bit scalier? Oh, Dragon Horde. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> But near death and certain death are quite different. Sorry, me and Z, package deal. Speaking of, where's your sister? She went to talk to Pops. Woo! So, you've done it. Acquire the Fenthris bow. I suppose you've come to receive my praise. Nope, take your people. I seek something much harder to give. Our forces must remain here in defense of Singorn. I want you to admit the truth. The dragon killed Mother. Oh. I spent years thinking her death was my fault. That somehow we were the reason you sent her to Byrodin. And if we hadn't been born, she might still be alive. And you know why I believed that? She told me it. Because you did too. In our moment of need, you shut us out. The only advice you ever gave was to guard our hearts. To let no one in. Her death hurt you as much as it hurt us. That's your truth. You better hope that's right. I've moved on. I haven't. You taught me my love was poison. I kept the one decent man who shared his heart at arm's length until it was too late. But everyone's pain is their own. And he's gone. If you've any love left for me, or for Mother, then march to Imon and prove it. Cash and Zara declined our invitation. Will this be enough? Thordak hasn't heard that all these forces are gathering. They just swoop down and uh, the fire all over them now. Uh, guys, you gotta see this. Holy shit. She did it. We'll wage a two pronged assault. Your Singorn army, Groon's warriors, as well as the Whitestone Pale Guard, will march through the city gates, engaging Thordak's spawn head on. Ooh. How will you get inside? I've scouted it. We'll approach from the air. That won't work. Ooh. There is an unprotected back entrance to Thordak's lair. And you assure us the tunnel will be open. I pledge my word. Mm. It's. It's a sound plan, Lady Vexalia. But will it work? It has to. This episode. What's that, Grohl? Oh, I forgot about that. You ready, sister? For Percy. For mother. For Percy. For mother. For Percy! For Alexandria! For Alexandria! I love how they're going after this point. It was Anna. Where the hell is Anna? Oh, here they come. Shit, stop. Where are these dragons going? I should have probably had a cocktail ready for this one. Smoke, but no fire. How's that work? And no resistance. You'd think they'd notice us by now. They're lying in wait. Or did they move? Hold! It's a trap! Oh, can Thordak turn into a man like Rashan can? Warbling! They're waiting for Papa. Why are they not attacking? No. She sold us out. It's sealed? Ah! He left his lair. Well, you guys weren't exactly quiet about the plan. Oh god, no. This is more guilt to heap on her. I can't even 
form a sentence right now because this was left. It's just left. It's just left. Um, what the? Hmm. Because as you saw the whole time, I'm like, this seems to, in our story arc, with however many episodes, this sort of battle seems too soon to occur. This is the third, that's a third act? Like black moment type of thing. Not in the middle. <laughs> so because of that, I don't, I can't gird my loins. That's what I love about pattern. You can gird your loins. Mm -hmm. Percy's funeral was lovely. Duh. I hate the fact that we had a funeral because we had to have a funeral, but it was lovely. And he's under the, mas he's in the mausoleum. So my big question, speaking of the universe, I don't need it answered yet. Did Rashawn sell them out or was Thordak just paying attention to what was happening in the surrounding area and caught wind that there was a massive siege being planned could both be true yes could one be more true than the other yes but there's four more episodes to go at least right at least so tomorrow I'll be watching the next episode when it will come out for all of you I don't know but I want you to be there with me when we endeavor to do this together we have to endeavor to do this together because <laughs> okay I'm not even making sentences make sense anywho words fail Take care of yourselves, y'all. Do not be strangers. Hit subscribe so you know when the next video drops. Leave a like, leave a comment. How are you feeling at this point in the season? I would love to know. And also let me know if you're taking care of yourself. Did you go eat today? This is your reminder to go eat. It's almost nine o'clock here. I haven't eaten yet. So I'm gonna go eat something. And then you're gonna come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.